got to let his hands go. There's a nice leg kick. There's another one. Oh! That got him on the shot. They appeared to land, but Costa was able to eat. Get ready for a big fight between Israel Adesanya and Paulo Costa. They've been talking a lot, especially Costa, who says Adesanya is a terrible fighter and doesn't deserve to be the champion. Adesanya is nothing. Adesanya is the most shameful champion I have seen ever. I will make him cry. I knew, I knew what Adesanya is afraid. He's afraid to fight against big guys. Now, the tension is super high as these two are about to face off in the ring. Can Adesanya prove Costa wrong and show everyone he deserves to be the champ? Or will Costa back up his tough talk? It's like a real life drama unfolding and we'll see it all. Stay tuned for the big moment when Adesanya aims to not only win, but also humble Costa. This is a must watch fight where everything they've said is put to the test. Don't miss the showdown that could change their reputations forever. Let's dive into the background of the UFC 253 showdown between Israel Adesanya and Paulo Costa. These two fighters bring different styles and stories to the octagon. Imagine a fighter known for his smooth moves and smart strategies. That's Israel Adesanya our middleweight champion. Born on July 22nd, 1989, in Lagos, Nigeria, he became famous for mixing different martial arts styles seamlessly. His nickname, The Last Style Bender, says it all. He's a unique and unbeaten fighter. With 15 TKO finishes and six UFC performance of the night bonuses, he earned the Breakthrough Fighter of the Year Award in 2019. Adesanya is not just a champion, he's a symbol of style in the tough world of mixed martial arts. Now, let's meet Paulo Costa, a powerhouse from Brazil, born on April 21st, 1991. Nicknamed Boracinha in Portuguese, meaning big cab, he's known for his raw strength and no-nonsense approach. Costa boldly declared Adesanya as the most shameful fighter ever claiming the champion didn't deserve the title. He even said he'd make Adesanya cry like a baby, suggesting that Adesanya was scared of facing bigger opponents like himself. The mental games had begun, setting the stage for an explosive clash of styles and egos. As UFC 253 neared, the showdown between Adesanya and Costa became more than a title fight. It was a meeting of different personalities and fighting styles. Adesanya, the smart and stylish champ, against Costa, the powerhouse with a tough attitude. This fight wasn't just about winning a title, it was about the clash of ideas in the tough UFC world. Costa's determination to win the championship clashed with Adesanya's mission to keep his unbeaten record intact. As we eagerly awaited UFC 253, the stories of Adesanya and Costa added excitement to the upcoming battle. The stage was set for a fight that would leave a mark on the middleweight division and the history of mixed martial arts. The first round of the Adesanya versus Costa showdown at UFC 253 was like a burst of fireworks in the octagon. As the fight began, both Adesanya and Costa wasted no time meeting at the center of the cage with intensity. The crowd roared, feeling the energy from the highly anticipated clash. Adesanya showcased his signature style, using precision and finesse in his strikes. His quick jabs and well-timed kicks aimed to keep Costa at bay. The last style bender lived up to his name, moving with agility and responding to Costa's advances with strategic counterattacks. On the flip side, Paulo Costa brought the power. His punches echoed with force, attempting to break through Adesanya's defenses. Costa's aggressive style became evident as he pressed forward, seeking to land those heavy blows that had been his trademark. 
The first round witnessed several clinch moments against the cage. Both fighters struggled for control, each trying to impose their will on the other. The intensity of the grappling added an extra layer of excitement for the fans. Beyond the physical exchanges, the mental warfare between Adesanya and Costa persisted. The fighters exchanged words and gestures. Romero. Back and forth, Costa going hands behind his back. Heightening the drama in the octagon, the tension between the two added to the electrifying atmosphere. As the first round neared its end, the energy remained high. Adesanya's calculated approach and Costa's relentless aggression set the stage for what promised to be a thrilling continuation in the upcoming rounds. What is your opinion on Adesanya's precision clashing with Costa's power? Does Costa leg feel the pain? What kind of mind games and physical exchanges set the tone for the next rounds? The action continued into round two of the Adesanya versus Costa battle at UFC 253, bringing more excitement and intensity to the octagon. Round two kicked off with a fast-paced exchange of strikes. Adesanya and Costa wasted no time, demonstrating their determination to outmaneuver each other. The crowd was on the edge of their seats as the fighters showcased their skills. Israel Adesanya maintained his trademark movement, displaying agility that made it difficult for Costa to land significant strikes. The last style bender's footwork and evasive maneuvers were once again on full display, frustrating Costa's attempts to close in. Paulo Costa, undeterred by the challenges in round one, continued to press forward with powerful shots. His relentless aggression remained a key feature as he sought openings to unleash his heavy punches. The crowd reacted to every swing, feeling the impact of Costa's powerful strikes. The mental warfare between Adesanya and Costa persisted into round two. Verbal exchanges and gestures added drama to the spectacle, creating an atmosphere charged with tension and anticipation. As the two fighters clashed in the final moments, Adesanya's precision and finesse became the ultimate rebuttal to Costa's bold claims. The theatrics and audacity that characterized Costa's pre-fight rhetoric were met with a calculated one-two punch from Adesanya bringing an end to the brash declarations. The climactic conclusion of UFC 253 not only showcased the mastery of Israel Adesanya in the octagon, but also served as a resounding response to the disrespect and cocky behavior exhibited by Paulo Costa throughout the lead up to the fight. The atmosphere in the arena was charged with a sense of poetic justice as Costa the self-proclaimed powerhouse found himself unable to withstand the skillful onslaught of the last style bender. The moment when Adesanya saw Costa go down became more than a championship victory. It was a triumphant response to the disrespectful narrative that had surrounded the fight. The last style bender not only defended his title, but did so with a touch of humility that contrasted sharply with the earlier arrogance displayed by Costa. This battle at UFC 253 evolved into a story of redemption, with Adesanya's triumph serving as a powerful response to the disrespectful narrative orchestrated by Costa. The octagon transformed into more than just a physical battleground. It became the stage for resolving a clash of personalities and attitudes, firmly establishing Adesanya's victory in multiple dimensions. Curious about witnessing another cocky fighter in action? Dive into the next chapter and explore the destruction of cocky fighter Derek Rosa!